Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Knitting for Baby. Thanks for watching. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to knit these little pants to match the little cardigan sweater that I showed you a few weeks back. I know many of you were asking me to make the matching little pants, so here they are, and I hope you like them. Now, you can also make these little pants along with the little cardigan, smaller or bigger. Be sure to check out the information box here below. There, I'm going to leave you some information on how you can make it smaller or bigger. Okay, so let's get started, and thank you for watching. Okay, to begin, I'll be using these 3.5 millimeter knitting needles. I'm going to make the waistband first using these needles, and then we're going to switch to four millimeter knitting needles to make up the rest of the baby pants. Now, these are circular needles. These are 32 inch. And I'm using this yarn, it's called Yarn B. This is a medium number four yarn in this color soft pink. It's the same yarn that I used to make the little cardigan sweater. Now, to begin, the first thing that we need to do is we need to cast on our stitches. We need to cast on a total of 96 stitches. Now, I'm going to show you how to cast on your stitches using the long tail cast on. You can use any method, I just happen to like this method so I'm going to show you here. Now, the first thing that we need to do is with both needles like this, we're going to wrap the yarn around 20 times. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So here we have enough yarn for about 20 stitches. If we double it up, there's enough for 40 stitches. Double it up again, there's enough for 60 stitches. Double it up again, we have enough for 80. And then double it up again, we have enough for 100 stitches. Now we're going to make a slip knot right here insert both needles through this loop here. Now this yarn here is coming from the skein. Now insert your hook like this, open the yarn up like this, and we're going to go from left to right and we're going to grab a loop. Here's two, three, four, five, six and so on. You're going to continue like this until you have 96 stitches on your needles. So continue, I'll meet you back once I have my 96 stitches to show you what we need to do next. Okay, so I finished casting on my stitches, I have 96. So now we're going to pull one of the needles, very careful, make sure you pull. Perfect. So now what we're going to do is we're going to knit these little pants in the round. So we're going to use the magic loop technique. So here we're going to split these stitches like this. So we need to create a loop here so that we can start with joining in the round. Perfect. Make sure that they're all in the same direction. Now, make sure that this yarn here is in front of this needle and we're going to join to the first stitch. So we're going to pull the needle from the back and we're going to knit this very first stitch. Now we're going to purl the next stitch knit the next, purl the next, knit, purl, knit, purl. That's all I'm going to do. So this is all I'm going to do until I come to the last stitch on this needle here. Knit, purl, knit, purl. And then I'm going to show you how we're going to switch needles so that we can knit the stitches in the back. That's all. We're going to do this for about eight rows. If you want your 
waistband to be wider, then you can do more rows. I'm just going to do about eight rows. Okay, I'm almost done. Here's my last stitch for this needle here. Now drop that needle. Turn this like this. Push this needle. And pull the needle from the back. And then you just start again. My last stitch here on this side was a purl, so I'm going to knit the next stitch here. And then purl. That's all I'm going to do for this first row, so continue like this, and then I'll meet you once I'm done to show you what we need to do next. Okay, so here's my last stitch. Make sure that it's a purl stitch. If it's not, then you have messed up somewhere here in this first row because um, it should be a purl stitch, the last stitch. So here we're going to push this needle and now we're going to start the second row. Pull the needle from the back and we're going to knit the knit stitches and purl the purl stitches. That's all, that's all we're going to do. Knit and purl, knit and purl. We're going to do this, like I said, for about eight rows. If it's more or less, just continue watching. I'll let you know exactly how many rows I'm going to do. But I think eight rows should be fine. And that's all we're going to do. So continue like this, continue for eight rows. Just knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one, until we have the eight rows completed. Okay, so continue watching and I'll meet you at the end of that row. Okay, I finished making the waistband. I did a total of eight rows. So now here we're going to switch to four millimeter kneading needles. So here for me, I'm just going to remove these and then I'm going to attach the four millimeter kneading needles. If you don't have these needles, then just go ahead and knit the first row um, with the new kneading needles. So here we're just going to continue I've already switched to three point to these four millimeter kneading needles. So from here on, we're going to continue and knit all around with just the knit stitch. So knit each one of these stitches like this all around. So I'm going to go ahead and do this for this row. And then I'm going to come back and show you what we need to do. Here I'm going to knit actually to the last stitch on these needles here so that I can show you once again how to switch to the other side. Now let go of that needle, turn, push this needle and grab the one from the back and then continue on. That's all I'm going to do here. So continue, finish this first row and I'll come back and show you what we need to do next. Okay, so here's the last stitch. I'm going to knit as well. Now we're going to drop that needle, turn, push this needle and we're going to knit every single one of these stitches in the same way. So knit, 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 knit all around. Now we're going to do this 
until this part here measures about 20 centimeters. Not exactly sure how many rows that is, but we're just going to knit, knit, knit every stitch for every row all around from here on until it measures about 20 centimeters. If it's more or less, just continue watching. I will let you know exactly how many rows and how much this should measure for the next um, step. So continue watching. I will meet you at the end of that row. Okay, I went ahead and finished this part. It's measuring exactly 20 centimeters, which is about eight inches. And I have a total of 54 rows, including the rows here for the waistband. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to divide for the legs, but first we need to do this little triangle like this here. So we're right about here right now. So we're going to make these increases for about eight or nine rows, I'm not sure. Um, we're going to do this, so I'm going to show you how we're going to do this part. So to do this part, you need to mark the center stitch. Remember, we have 96 stitches, so you're going to have 47 stitches on this side and 47 stitches on this side. Make sure that you have two stitch markers marking the center stitch, so stitch number 48, just like I have here. So once you have done that, what we're going to do is I'm going to keep my stitch marker here. This is the beginning of the row for me. So we're going to continue until I come to the first stitch marker. So we're going to knit. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. And then I have my stitch marker. I have 23 here because I have the rest of the other stitches on this side. I still need to finish um, making this side. I only have these stitches here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to pass the stitch marker and then we're going to lift the little bar that's right in front of this stitch. You just lift it up like this and put it like this on the needle and then you're going to knit through the front like this, okay? Now knit the center stitch. Now we're going to do the same thing after we knit the center stitch. So we're going to lift this little bar in front of the stitch marker and we're going to put it on the needle like this. On this side, we put it like this, but here we're going to put it through the back like this and we're doing this because we want the stitches to sort of go to the side like this see you can see it better here like that it doesn't really matter if you don't really care then just put it any way that's easier for you now this stitch here we're going to knit through the back like this let me change this stitch marker because it opened that means it's not a good one And now we're just going to continue knitting all around until we come again to the next stitch marker. So here I'm going to have my 47 stitches. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Four, 
41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, and 47 stitches. Now again, I have my stitch marker marking stitch number 48, so pass your stitch marker. And right before this stitch, or after the stitch marker, lift up this little bar in front, put it like this, not like this, but like this, and then knit through the front loop, or through the front loop. Perfect, and then knit the center stitch, and right before the stitch marker, again, pick up this little bar and put it on your needle like this. Not like this, we did this here, like this, and then knit through the back. If it's easier, just knit however way you want to. Make it easier. But I like the way that this looks once it's done. Now pass your stitch marker, and then you're going to knit these remaining stitches until you come to the next stitch marker. For me, I'm going to finish right here since this is the beginning of the row for me, and then I'm going to continue and knit these stitches until I come again to the stitch markers here. So continue, finish this first row, and then I'll meet you right here to show you the second row. Okay, I finished the first row. Now in this second row, we're not going to increase in between the stitch markers, so all we're going to do is just knit across. So we're going to alternate between one row where we increase and then the next row we're not. So we're going to knit these stitches like this, just in the same way like you normally would. Pass your stitch marker and then continue on until you finish this second row. Here you're going to knit these stitches also and then finish the second row. Here's my stitch marker and then I'm going to start on the third row. I will meet you right here to show you once again how to make your increases um, on that third row. Okay, I finished the second row then I started the third row so I'm right here past the stitch marker to this side and we're going to lift this stitch right here and put it on our needle like this and then knit through the front. Now knit the next three stitches and then the stitch before the stitch marker lift it up like this and put it on your needle like this and knit through the back. Now pass your stitch marker and we're going to continue around and repeat the same thing on the other side right here. So continue. I will meet you here to show you once again how you're going to increase every other row. Okay, I'm here at this other side past your stitch marker and we're going to increase here by lifting up this little bar, putting it on the needle like this and then knit through the front. Knit the three stitches in the center. And then lift up this little bar here. Put it on the needle like this and then knit through the back. That's all you're going to do from here on for every other row. So pass your stitch marker and then finish this third row. Now for the fourth row, you're going to just knit all around and then in the fifth row, you're going to increase. The sixth row, you're going to knit all around. In the seventh row, you're going to increase. For the eighth row, knit all around. For the ninth row, you're going to make an increase. Then for the tenth row, you're going to knit all around. Now, I want to do this until I have nine stitches in between the stitch markers on this side and on this side. So I'll come back and show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making 10 rows in total and this part here is measuring exactly 23 centimeters, which is about nine inches. So now what we're going to do is we're going to divide for the legs. So here, for the legs, I have 47 stitches and 47 stitches. Now. If your baby has nice 
round legs, then go ahead and take maybe two stitches on this side and then two stitches on this side. I'm going to work these little pants exactly as I have my stitches, so 47 and 47. So that is an option for you if you want to make your legs a bit wider. So what we're going to do here is we're going to continue and knit this part because we're going to do this leg first. We're going to put these center stitches on hold and then this other leg we're going to also put it on hold so that we can knit um, the leg up after we finish this first one. So here is the beginning of the row for me. Here's my stitch marker. By the way, if you're wondering, these stitch markers my knees made for me, they're so cute, I love them. So here, we're going to knit these stitches until I come to the stitch marker. So let's see, that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, and 23. Now, these stitches right here in between the stitch markers, which I have nine here and nine here. So I did a total of 10 rows for this part. I'm sorry, I forgot to mention that. So we did a total of 10 rows here and we have nine stitches in between this part here. If you want to make it longer and wider, then go ahead and continue and increase in the same way. It's not going to change anything other than this part's going to be wider in the center. So we're going to remove these stitches here so grab your needle with some yarn here and just remove these stitches here and we're going to keep them here on hold. We're going to close this part here after we finish the legs. Okay, here are my nine stitches. Now we're going to remove the stitches here on this side. So let me put this here so that my stitches don't come off. Now we're going to remove these 47 stitches and put them on hold here. Before I forget, I'm going to put a stitch marker right here just to mark the beginning for this side here, for this leg. I'm going to start here on this side and knit here first. That way my stitches are not going to be backwards or anything or twisted. Okay, I have these stitches here for the leg. And again, if you want to make the legs wider, just remove this and then add two stitches to this side here. And then two stitches from this side here again, so that you have 47, 48, 49, 50, 51 stitches for the leg. But I'm not going to do that because I think that it's going to be fine for the size that we're making this for. Um, so I'm going to remove these here.
Here are the stitches on this side. So now I have the remainder of my 47 stitches on this side that I have to knit. So all we're going to do here is we're going to just join by knitting the first stitch. And here obviously we're going to have to do the magic loop technique. So pull the needle from the back and we're just going to start knitting on this side here. Like this all around, same thing for every row. Knit every one of the stitches. And this here is going to be the leg. Now, I'm not sure how many rows I'm going to do for the leg, but just continue watching. I'll let you know how many rows I'm going to do. You can certainly make your legs longer or shorter and finish them in any way that you like. So here's my last stitch. We're going to turn. Now this stitch marker here, I don't need it anymore because we're working on the legs here. So grab the needle from the back and just continue and knit each one of the stitches until you finish this side and then switch again. I'm going to show you this part again. Just so you know what to do when you finish this side and then you need to grab the other needle on the other side. Turn, drop that needle, push this needle and grab this needle from the back and just knit again these stitches. That's all we're going to do. So continue watching. Like I said, I'm not exactly sure how many rows I'm going to do, but this would be the second row. So I'm going to count from right about here and then I'll let you know exactly how many rows we're going to do. So I'll meet you at the end of that row. Okay, I'm almost done with the leg. I did a total of 34 rows using the four millimeter knitting needles, and then I switched for a total of 25 rows using 3.5 millimeter knitting needles. Now, this is optional. If you want to go ahead and do it this way, you can. If not, it's just going to be done all using the same knitting needles. So now here, what we're going to do is we're going to do the bottom of the pants. So we're going to work knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one. So beginning here, we're going to knit the first stitch, purl the next. knit, purl, knit, and purl. Now to do this part, I do recommend using slightly smaller knitting needles if you're not changing for this part here. Um, I think it would look better. So knit one and then purl one. That's all I'm going to do for this row. Knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one, all around. Continue and I'll meet you at the end of this row. Okay, I'm here at the end of this first row where we have done knit one, purl one, knit one, purl all around. I have my last two stitches here. Since we have an odd number of stitches here for the leg, what I'm going to do here at the end so that we finish with a purl is purl two together here at the end. We're going, we're going to have to make this reduction so that our stitches now um, have a purl at the end and then a knit at the beginning. So make sure you do the same thing here at the end. So now I have 46 stitches all around. Now turn here, push your needle, grab the one from the back, and we're going to repeat the same thing. Knit one, purl one, knit, purl, knit, purl. We're going to do this for about eight rows. If you want to make this part shorter, you can. If you want to make it longer and then fold it, you can also do that. It's okay. All we're going to do is knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one, and we're always going to have 46 stitches from here on. Your last stitch here is going to be a purl, and then you're going to begin with the knit. We're not going to reduce for every row. We're just going to continue in the same way. We only did that reduction on the first row. So continue like this, finish eight rows, and then I'll come back and show you what we need to do next. 
Okay, I decided to make this part a bit longer. I did a total of 21 rows. Now, I told you I was going to do only eight, but I decided to do more. So if you want to leave only eight, it's fine. I decided to make it like this because I think it looks a lot nicer. I want it to fold like this. So that's why I went ahead and did more rows. So it would, it's up to you if you want to do the eight rows or if you want to do like I did, 21 rows. And you can even make this longer. I think I'm going to leave it like this because I am running out of yarn and I need to do the other leg or I would have continued on to maybe about 25 rows total so here what we're going to do is we're going to cast off our stitches so we're going to grab this needle here and all you're going to do is knit the knit stitches and purl the purl stitches so beginning here we're going to knit the first one purl the next one okay and then this stitch we're going to bring it over the first stitch and that's how we're going to cast off the next one I need to knit now bring this stitch over the first one the next one we're going to purl bring this stitch over this the first stitch and that's all we're going to do until we have all of our stitches done so knit the knit stitches and purl the purl stitches and bring this over the first stitch and that's all so continue finish this and then we're going to start on the next leg okay I finished casting off all of my stitches here's the last one so here what we're going to do is we're going to go from the inside insert your hook here where we did the first stitch and just grab this loop like this bring it through the front like this and then just grab a loop here and pass the loop through this last loop and this part here is done now hide your ends and here's the bottom of the leg that's what it looks like so this part here is done now we're going to do the exact same thing we did here for this leg we're going to do it here we're going to start on this side this is going to be let's see this is where we started so just go here to this side and remember I had left the stitch marker I'm going to pick up all of these stitches using the four millimeter kneading needle this one here so I'm just going to go like this and pick up all of these stitches make sure that you pick up each and every single one of it of the stitches here so I'm going to go ahead and do this off camera and then I'm going to come back and show you how we're going to start this leg and then you're going to work the rest on your own remember that we did a total of 33 rows using the four millimeter kneading needles and then we switched to 3.5 millimeter kneading needles and we did a total of 25 rows and then we finished here uh, this part here with a total of 21 rows using the same needles here the 3.5 millimeter kneading needles okay and here we reduced one stitch because we have one stitch too many so that's why we went ahead and reduced one so you're going to do exactly the same thing we did here on this leg but first I'm going to show you how to get started okay I picked up all of these stitches I have 47 stitches now I can remove my yarn here and this is where we were going to start so what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach this yarn but before we start make sure you leave a nice long tail I don't know about 12 inches or so because this yarn is what we're going to use to uh, seam this part here in the center so make sure you leave a nice tail uh, I don't know about 12 inches about that much and now we're going to just grab a loop here with this yarn just insert your hook right here so that we can introduce this yarn through this stitch here and then we're going to tie a small knot right there perfect okay so we're going to leave this tail here until we're ready to seam the center after we're done with the legs so now we're going to continue I'm going to remove my stitch marker I don't need it anymore I know I'm going to start this way I'm going to divide my stitches here just like I did on the other side like this 
and then we're going to start and knit. So my yarn is right here. And we're going to join in the round. So grab your needles and all you're going to do is knit the first stitch. Knit the next and so on until we finish knitting all of these stitches for this needle. And then we're going to switch to the other side. So I'm going to fast forward this Okay, here's my last stitch. Drop this needle, turn, push your needle. Grab the needle from the back and then start knitting until you're done with this first row. You know what, I shouldn't have taken out that um, yarn because that was going to help me determine how many rows because it can get a little confusing but I guess we can count from the here inner part of the leg we can count how many rows we have or you can put a stitch marker marking this first row and then we're going to count from this row until we have uh, 33 rows which is the same thing we did on the other side okay so here's the last stitch knit and then we're going to turn this like this. Make sure the yarn is in front. Push this needle and pull the needle from the back. We're not joined yet, but we will with this stitch that I do right here we are going to be joined in the round. There, perfect. So from here on, we're always going to continue. Let me fix this here. We're going to continue and knit in the round for a total of 33 rows, like I said, and then you're going to switch to 3.5 millimeter kneading needles or if you're using any other needle size to make this smaller or bigger, just go down half a needle size so that the bottom of the leg is a bit tapered off. Um, it's optional, you don't have to do this. This is a very basic baby pants and really when the baby's wearing them, you really can't tell. So that would be up to you. So continue like this, finish this leg in the exact same way we did the other one. And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you how we're going to close this part here between the legs. So I'll meet you back to show you how we're going to do that part. Okay, I went ahead and finished both legs. This is what it looks like, this one here, and here's the other one that I showed you. There it is. So both legs are now done. So now I'm going to show you how we're going to close this gap here in the crotch area. So go ahead and remove this yarn by just picking up all of your stitches with your needles here. So we're just going to do this. I'm using these circular needles, but you can certainly use double pointed needles. Okay, so here I have two, four, six, seven, eight, nine stitches here. I'm going to pull this yarn off. I'm going to go here to this other side. And same thing. We're going to transfer all of these stitches to our needles. that yarn off and here we have our stitches so 
going to turn this like this because this is where I have my yarn that we left. Remember we left a, a long tail here. So we're going to use this yarn needle. Okay, so we're going to start right here. We have nine stitches on this side and nine stitches on this side. We're going to go right here and we're going to pick up this stitch right there and we're going to go through let me double check here this is the first stitch so yes go here pick up a stitch and then go here remove that stitch and then we're going to go back here pick up this stitch and through the back towards the front, insert your needle and remove that stitch. Now we're going to go here again. This is the last stitch that we removed, so pick that up and insert your needle like this and remove this stitch. And then we're going to pick up the last stitch that we removed from here and we're going to go from the back to the front and the back like this remove that stitch and again pick up this stitch and remove this stitch there pick up this stitch you can clearly see how it's starting to form see so pick up this stitch here. This is the last stitch from this needle. Pick up all of the little, my yarn splitting here. That's why I'm having a hard time picking up this stitch here. Perfect. And from the back to the front, remove that needle or that stitch. Pick this one up. Remove this stitch. Now, if it's too loose here, just go back and play with these stitches so that they are nice and even. Perfect. See, that's what it looks like here. This one here, let me... Perfect, see, that's what it looks like. So we're going to go to the back, actually, no. Yep, to the back. Pick up that last stitch. Take it off. Go to the front and so on. Okay, so this part here is done. Now we're just going to do a couple stitches here to join and close this gap here. Now there's no right or wrong way of doing this. Just make sure that it looks okay. Believe me, it took me a long time for me to get this part, so it's okay if it doesn't look that great. Trust me, I've been there. I'm 
I think that looks pretty good. Now we're going to close this part. Go back and see if there's a hole anywhere like here. I can always join these two stitches there, but for the most part, this part here is done. That's what it looks like. Now, just go on the inside, look around, see if there's any gaps that you need to close. And I'm going to go ahead and do that here. And then I'm going to hide my ends and finish this part. Just take a peek on the inside, make sure that the yarn doesn't show through. Like here, I just close that gap. That looks pretty good. And I think I'm done. So just going to tie this here to the last stitch. Make a little knot here. Perfect. And then just weave your end. And this part here is done. I'm going to go ahead and do that off camera. So let me show you. Here's the part in between the legs. And here's the finished pants. Oops. I pull that stitch. I'm gonna go in and fix it on the inside. And that's what it looks like. And here's the little sweater that I showed you. So now we have matching pants to this cute little sweater that I showed you. I know many of you were asking for matching pants. So here it is. So let me give you the finished measurements to these little pants. So from the waist up to the end here with this part here folded, it's measuring about 47 centimeters, which is about 18 and a half inches. Let me unfold this part here. It's measuring from the waistband up to the end here. It's about 51 and a half centimeters, which is about 20 inches from, let's see, in between the legs here to the end of the legs. It's measuring about 29 centimeters, which is about 11 and a half inches. And let's see the, this part here, the waist. It's measuring about 26, let's see, 26 centimeters, which is about 10.25 inches and the pants here it's measuring about 12 and a half centimeters which is about five inches so based on these measurements these little pants here along with a little sweater are for babies between 12 and 18 months now you can also make it smaller or bigger so just be sure to check out the information box below and also check out my channel for the tutorial for the little sweater okay so this was today's tutorial i hope you like it thank you so much for watching until next time